It's a very complicated little mechanism, the theater, and how it all works. And I like being able to improve that. Hello, I'm Roger Morgan. I'm a theater design specialist. Architects design all kinds of buildings, but when they deal with a specialty building, they look to people who have specialties, and in my case, theaters are my special kind. I think what makes it possible for me to be pretty good at this is the fact that I actually grew up in the theater as a person working backstage. I studied scenic design and stage lighting at Carnegie Mellon. I came to New York. I worked in off-Broadway theaters. I got a Tony for a play called The Crucifer of Blood. Even though I was working as a stage lighting designer on Broadway and in other places, I learned the organism of a theater. I got interested in architecture. I started working as a, as a design consultant for theaters in 1974, and I was able to uh, build on that and uh, I started getting more work. When I first uh, started my firm, I called it Roger Morgan Studio. For a long time, I, I ran the business and I reached out to my wife, Ann Sachs, a wonderful actress. She actually made us into a real business. And since that time, we've been partners and eventually we changed the name to Sachs Morgan Studio. My work gets me into all kinds of buildings, that we build new buildings, and then we do restoration projects where we take a beautiful theater that has fallen on bad times, and we bring it back, we revive it and make it look wonderful. On Broadway, we have theaters that were built between uh, roughly 1900 and 1930. Now, restoration of a theater is a, is a pretty complicated process. You walk in, Usually it's dark, there's no power on. Often the building's been left alone for 10 years. Water comes in. Sometimes you see the ceiling on the floor. My job will be, first of all, to figure out what to do. What could it look like? One thing I do is start to go back historically and begin to look into the record and say, well, what was it? Who built it? I find the Niederlander Theater fascinating. It had a, a very checkered career. I mean, wonderful people like Orson Welles played here. Tallulah Bankhead was here in The Little Foxes. It's wonderful when you realize you have a kind of a, a responsibility, I mean, to the theater that these people played in and audiences howled and laughed and applauded and cried and enjoyed themselves. But this theater in particular was in really bad shape. Rent was here for 12 years, and it was after Rent moved out that we began this transition. Now, you know, Rent kind of built on La Boheme, a story of artists suffering in grungy places. They came and looked at the Niederlander and they said, ah, a grungy theater, great. It needed a lot of work then, and they left it. Well, time did some work that I suppose Rent liked, and it kept getting grungier and grungier. So when I walked into this theater after Rent had moved out, I looked around and I thought, whoa, this is not one of the easy jobs. There was very little to look at that gave any evidence of what it had looked like before. But fortunately, we found photographs that were taken by the original owners at the time the theater was built. They show a lot of detail. They show the drapery in place. They show the lighting fixtures. We saw wood paneling. We read also about the paneling in a New York Times review of the theater when it opened. And then I started scraping the wall and I found it. It was all painted. The, the, the guy in the, who wrote the Times article in 1922 probably didn't know it was fake, but it was fake, but beautiful fake. And so we said, hey, we can do that. These arts are not lost. We go up and we scrape the walls and we look and we count the layers of paint and we see what the color was way down at the bottom. And that tells us some things, you know, about how it looked. We looked at the proscenium and on the side are these beautiful boxes. And at the top of them are panels, three big rectangular panels with elaborate plaster detail, beautiful. 
wasn't there. We came here, it was all flat. All of the lighting in the room that you can see is inside the room. Just as things were in those days, you know, the light bulb itself was only 25 years old or 30 when they built this building. And people were still in love with exposed lights. And that's what I like to do with the lighting in a building like this. You know, the exterior of the theater was really trashed and Rent did everything they could to make it look worse. But we were able to take all the paint off it and expose the brick. And it had big arched windows. And those arches were filled in when it was turned into a theater. And I started to work with those arches and line them with the bare bulbs that go all around and to make a marquee, a new marquee, that was designed in the manner of marquees of that day, which involved a lot of copper panels and a lot of bare exposed light bulbs. I think that the bare bulb signs associate in people's minds with Broadway. And so I wanted to use them on the outside of this theater, not to replicate what had been here before, but that to advance and to support the idea that it's a theater. I, I love doing this work. I mean, I love helping to make theaters better places to be, whether you're part of the production company or whether you're a, a patron.